it's finally happening today, guys. We are opening this. Yes, you are probably like, don't. But, yeah, it's not gonna work. You know, it will work. This. That probably won't work either. Uh-oh, we have a problem. Can't open it this way. I don't want the box damage. There we go. Oh, I got it. It's already kind of open for some reason. Yeah. We're doing a review. I'm definitely making sure we get, uh, you know, this post out. How did that guy get, like, such a clean cut, and I'm getting such a bad one, like, oh, it's kind of clean. Sorry, Dad, that I'm opening this. Still, I like this. No. No. Oh, looks like I didn't cut very good. I'm getting it out. So there's the package. Here's Freddy. Here is the fedora, and let's bring out Freddy. Uh, now I'm kind of upset. I'm not really that upset that I opened them in. Let's make sure. I think everyone had the same packaging issue. This glove was not in the right spot. It's supposed to be like this. No, I accidentally dropped them. Okay, it's fine. I didn't really damage the packaging, just saying, guys. But yeah, that was, so yeah. Hey guys, but I'm here. We're doing a review on the 8-inch Freddy Krueger. Mego. Mego. Uh, figure. So, he is 8 inches, for sure. And is, what, can his feet move? Or what the heck? I think his feet are in like inside this boot, so they can't really move. They're like twisted, but you can move the leg. So here he is with his fedora. Now this is his fedora, blackish, brownish color, and actually everyone gets a peg inside. My peg is like stuck. It's not where it's supposed to be, so I don't, I couldn't tell, and I already opened it, so it's not rare anymore. I don't know, I could get like an R1 for Christmas, keep it in the box. Uh, but yeah, that's his fedora. And before we put it on Freddy, let's take a look at him. So here's his head. You could turn it all the way around. I don't want to keep doing that or I'll fa probably fall off. His head is like squishy, like old Miko uh, figures. And yeah. Uh,. He has this pinkish, greenish color. His hand is burnt. Nope, no chest of souls. Would have been nice is if you lifted under the shirt and you found like a chest of uh, souls. But all you find is a chest, regular chest. Same with the hand. The burn marks do not go way up on his hand. He has black boots and black pants you can pose them here let's get articulation though so he has head articulation all the way out not really up and down his arms can move bend up twist Actually, you can't twist hand. you can kind of twist the elbow you can't uh, you can move the arm this one seems to fall a lot so that's probably why it was like this in the package 
so I probably can't pose him that good. Uh, his legs have articulation, you could do all this stuff. His feet don't really have that much articulation, but yeah. But let's go ahead and put the hat on him. Now I heard it kind of, it's not, oh, actually mine might be the special one. Because this hat actually stays on, like uh, my Freddy figures. It's kind of like my part two figure where it like falls off. Yeah, I, I don't think I have a special one. But there he is with his hat. Uh, doesn't come off, but it's very loose. So that's him. This is definitely not Nightmare on Elm Street Part 1, because he's got that striped sleeves and his face is different. It ha could be Part 2 or 3. Uh, yeah. Well, let's go ahead and... I'm gonna just go ahead and put this thing back in the package. Just one second, guys. So I just put the little thing that holds them back in the package. Which, I'm just going to hang this up with the figure. But yeah, it's not limited edition anymore. Sorry, people. Sorry, Dad and Mom that watch this. I just... Get another one for Christmas or birthday. Who knows? Okay. But yes, that's him. Uh, he's starting to look the other direction. Now I think back then they he did have a hole up top of them because there's a little peg in the hat. But I don't know if that's the reason why it's not fitting on his head. Good. But yeah, this is a good figure, and this leg keeps twisting. Please stop, leg. Uh, oh, his back pants. For some reason, it's not going over his boot. Is it not long enough? It is. It's not going over there, though. This is probably like my first time ever opening a box on camera. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. I just gotta go down more. There we go. Fixed it. But yeah, this is a pretty awesome figure. I would buy it. Now, most people would probably leave it in package. Most people would probably take it out. I was... I'm both and both. I would buy two of them and take one and keep one in the package. So I'd take one out of the package, keep one in the package. So I'll probably do the same thing. I'll just get another one of these and keep it in the package forever. But I just had to take it out because I like it so much. I, I just couldn't wait. Like, I'm not sure. It's probably not really limited edition. But yeah, this is the Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, part 2 or 3 Mego figure. So, let's see if we can get an awesome pose here. Let's, let's go ahead and check out what's going on in here. So, like, I don't know, here. I might have to open the sleeve way more up. Okay. Hmm, it seems to be really working fine without the sleeve. Well, if we do put the sleeve on. Oh, what? Wait, is, what is going on? Oh my gosh, leg, stop twisting. Is it moving on its own? I think. I don't know. But yeah, this is a cool figure. Um, it's not like NECA figures or any other figures that have articulation because he can't really bend his hands. And I'm not going to try it because then I break it, then I don't probably get another one. Or I 
No, you can't fix it. But yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, my mom and dad that I had to open this. Which is so cool. Uh, everyone else does, so I'm assuming they read it saying it's limited edition. But it's probably not. It's probably just like the old box, but here's what doesn't make sense. Um, uh, wasn't this made like in 2010 or something? I'm not sure when this was made, I'm guessing 90s, 80s. Uh, but on the box, this is an edition, but it could have been from like a old packaging. I know everyone else opens it except there's one person on YouTube. But I'm going to get another one. Try to see if I could get my parents into getting another one. I'm not sure. Well, I probably won't. I'll probably just ask for it for my birthday or Christmas. I usually just get I, uh, two presents. Birthday. Just figures. All I want now is like action figures. Because I like them. They're pretty cool. So I'll probably have to ask my parents for my birthday or Christmas I could get another one because I like it. This is like a cool figure. So I should have let it left it in the box. But yeah. So guys, thank you for watching and I'm going to now talk for another 20 minutes. Okay guys, so how was your summer so far? I'm just kidding. I'll see you guys and goodbye. Um I'm kind of a little sad that I took it out of the packaging, but I'm also very happy to see it. So, if you ever get one, I would recommend you leave it in a package or take it out. Whatever you want, just make sure to buy two of them. To keep one and to take one. This was the only one. So, I would have actually paid another uh, $20 for another one. So, yeah, guys. I'm just going to wait for my birthday or Christmas to get another one. I already said that a million times. But, guys, thank you for watching and bye.